Jesus Freak here with readings for June 14th, 2020. Keep, O Lord, we beseech thee, thy household of the church, and thy steadfast faith and love, that by the help of thy grace we may proclaim their, uh, thy truth with boldness, and minister thy ju uh, justice with compassion. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. First reading is from Exodus 19. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. For they were departed from Rephidim, and were come to the desert of Sinai, and had pitched into the wilderness. And there Israel camped before the mount. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called up unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say, and I say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, You've seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if you'll obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people, and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord hath spoken we will do. And Moses returned the word of, uh, words of the people unto the Lord. Psalter reading is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his ga gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Our epistle is from Romans 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that 
while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Our gospel reading is from Matthew. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, Labias, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And into what, whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till you go thence. And when you come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men. For they will deliver you up to the councils, they will scourge you in their synagogues, and you should be brought before governors and kings for my sake for testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. This concludes the reading for this week. Jesus freaked out.